Hi, this is Kelly from Kelly's Creative Comforts and today I want to show you my method of squaring up flying geese. Before I get started showing you that, if you have a flying goose where you made it starting with a rectangle and then you put the squares, sew it on the angle, flip this over, put the other one on, sew it on the angle. If you made a goose that way, before you trim off the excess fabric right here, just flip it over and because this will be the finished size that you want you can just trim it up to this size right here assuming you have done this correctly and you have a, at least a quarter of an inch from here to here right from the tip of that goose to the edge there you can make sure that you have a proper sized goose now these ones I have made particularly oversized so I can show you how I square these up with a regular ruler. There are some very specific rulers out there that you can square up a flying goose with and they are specific to a flying goose. But if you don't have one of those rulers, then here's how you do it or here's how I do it with my regular ruler. I want to end up with a one and three quarter by three inch goose. So I've made this one quite a bit oversized so I can kind of demonstrate what I'm doing first thing I want to do is just lay my goose down and I want to line my ruler up so that my 45 degree angle is right on the edge of my goose's wing and I have one quarter inch from the very very tip of my goose to the edge of the fabric right there and then visually I'm also making sure that I have enough depth to turn to cut off to one and three quarters for this particular goose. So I've lined up 45 degree here and I want to line up the 45 degree on the edge of the goose to make sure that my goose doesn't end up being off center. It's got like a little bit of a clipped wing. So I've lined up long 45, one quarter inch from there to there. I've definitely got enough room to turn to cut this to one and three quarter and I'm going to cut that right there. Then I'm going to flip it over. I am again going to line up the 45 degree and now I'm going to line up this edge at my one and three quarter that I want for the goose and I'm going to cut that off. Now we just need to trim down the sides. So in this case we want this to be a three inch wide goose. So I'm going to grab my smaller ruler just because it's easier to see and now if I want this to be a three inch wide goose I need to make sure of a couple of things one okay I've got my inch and three quarter here that's fine I've still got my quarter inch from there to there now what I want to do is take half of my finished size so my finished size is going to be three inches and I want to line that tip up right there on the one and a half inch mark. So that's half of whatever my width is going to be. I line that up and then I can nip that up. And of course, I'm making sure that I'm straight. I'm straight here. I'm straight here. I'm at the one and a quarter. Nip that off. Flip it around. One more time. And now you can see I am also straight here, straight down here. I'm lined up at the one and a half inch mark because I want a three inch wide goose. And on top of that, I have the 45 degree line on my ruler lined up on the wing of my goose so I won't have a speed wobbly goose. And there we go. That is how I square up a flying goose unit in the absence of a flying goose ruler. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Happy sewing. Mm -hmm.